Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and let's go right into it. So, today, in the item shop, it's just been full swipe, um, and we have some new skins in the item shop. We have the Riot LR, which looks quite cool, but I don't think I'll be picking it up as because it's £1.60, and I don't think, I already have some LR skins, so yeah. Now, next we have the Nuke DB. I think this skin is nice. It looks, it's got like a color, nice colour contrast, and it's got some wiring at the bottom there. Um, I may pick it up, I'm not sure, but yeah, next one, we have the Primitive Crate, I think this is the crate from the gas stations that you get sometimes, um, I think it's like, I'm not sure what I like it, I might pick it up, I'm not sure though, um, but yeah, next we have the Adobe Barricade, I mean, I, personally, I don't own the Adobe skin set, so I won't be picking this up, it's, it's quite expensive, so I don't even have, um, Next you have the pirate chest plate, which is actually quite nice. Um, I'd say for ATP, I'll probably pick this up as it's cheap and it, I think it'll go up in value. Same with the face mask, this is really cool actually. It looks a bit like uh, like a skull, so I'll probably be picking that up for ATP. Next we have a set that's been coming out quite a lot late lately. It's the HQM SAR. Um, for £2, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how the set's doing at the moment. Um, but when I ever equip them, I never really get like the like the sheet, the shiny bit in the middle. I just get like a normal default skin. Um, it looks like it, but it's not. So I probably won't be picking that up. And next you have the No Mercy Crate, which has also been coming out a lot. Um, I think this is really cool. Um, I don't think it goes in the dark though, so it's not gonna be a cop for me. Uh, but yeah, I think it will go up in value if you guys are looking for uh, stuff to buy. The shipping container garage door looks absolutely amazing. Um, it look, I think for £2 it's really good for role players as the new shipping container set came out. I think it looks really cool and I might pick it up, I'm not sure. Because the thing is, it might go up in, I think it's going to go up in value. So if you guys are looking for a cheap thing to uh, like uh, flip, then that is it. Let's look the low poly python. Which, in my opinion, is not the best. Um, like the low poly set's been coming up quite a lot, and I think it's just quite easy to make these skins. And for one pound sixty, I don't think it's that good. Um, and yeah, as I forgot to mention, uh, this skin, the Python, the Saw, um, and the face mask, and the crate are all gonna have, and the small crate uh, are all gonna have Twitch Rival skins. So look at my other video that I just pasted about the Twitch Rivals. Um, so if you if you want to save some money. Then go over that. But yeah, next we have. I'm gonna do uh, the sheep shipping container. I mean, it's like the Adobe skin, but just sheer for sheet metal. It looks very cool. But in my opinion, for £12, I'm not sure I'm gonna pick it up. Um, but yeah, I think they should. Like, if they're gonna do like building skins, I think they should do them cheaper. Because paying £12 each time, but if there's twig, wood, stone, sheet metal, and armoured. That's like a hundred pound if they do that. So a hundred pound for some like building skins, I don't think is worth it. Um, but yeah, uh, we also have a factory door. I'm just going to do all the general ones, which is definitely pay to win in my opinion. You can have a window so you can see through your door canvas. Next, we have the coconut endower, which is not pay to win, but I think it's quite cool and it looks quite nice. And it's for four pound, it's quite good. I personally have the factory door, I'm probably getting these two. Um, next we have the sofa. Um, this used to be paid to at some point, but it's not anymore, as the sofa uh, has been patched, I think. Um, but yeah, for £1.60, I'll probably pick it up anyway. Um, but there was a free Twitch travel one, so yeah. Next we have the Nomad seat, which I think is like a B tier, A tier for me. It is pay to win in some sense that you can camouflage in more environments. Uh, but it is just a hazmat skin, so and nothing else comes with it. Comes with it, so yeah. The industrial lighting is like semi pay to win. I mean, it's cool for builds, and you can put them up against your gatehouses so no one can ladder or place like twig. They don't give off too much light, but I think they're cool anyway, and I'd definitely be picking these up. Um, yeah. Next we have the pattern beamer. Uh, I think this is just like uh, the. If I, I think it's fireworks, and you can just like uh, draw custom patterns and stuff. 
For six, seven pounds, I don't think it's worth it to be honest. Next, you have the Arctic pack. I mean, this is very cool. Um, it's definitely a S tier for me, pay to win. It's got the nice frosty AK. It's got the, the uh, snow snow skin, and the Arctic suit gives you more protection for um, snow from coldness, so you don't freeze, which is absolutely pay to win all the way. S tier for me, I'll definitely be picking up. So next one we have the graffiti pack, which in my opinion is definitely not paid to win, and I don't think it's very worth it for eight pounds. Like you get to free hand spray, but out of the, all of these DLCs, I'd rather get like the Arctic pack. Next we have the lumberjack pack. I really like this pack, and I think it's definitely pay to win. As the metal tools, you have to have the tier one workbench, but you don't have to have the blueprint, so you can just craft them when you get tier one, and they make very cool noises, in my opinion. The lumberjack does have a little bit of a, a bigger he head box and so like he has a bigger hitbox but I think he's still a very cool skin and you can blend in in the environment next and uh, we have the Ice King pack which is a deployable throne and a frozen armor set this is not pay to win but I think it's very cool and is good for Rob Uh so next we, and lastly we have the Adobe skin I've already covered the shipping container uh, this is a very cool skin it just looks very nice uh, but for £11, I probably won't be picking it up. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and go check out my other videos in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.